This next song requires a boot. <laughs> if you're one of those people that finds the sort of um, bashing of religion and stuff tiresome or uh, offensive, just give me five more minutes. <laughs> Life is like an ocean voyage And our bodies are the ships And without a moral compass We would all be cast adrift So to keep us on our bearings The Lord gave us a gift And like most gifts you get It was a book <laughs> I only read one book but it's a good book, don't you know? I act the way I act because the good book tells me so. If I want to know how to be good, it's to the good book that I go. Because the good book is a book and it is good and it's a book. I know the good book's good because the good book says it's good. I know the good book knows it's good because a really good book would. You wouldn't cook without a cookbook and I think it's understood You can't be good without a good book Cause it's good and it's a book and it is good for cooking I tried to read some other books but I soon gave up on that The paragraphs ain't numbered and they complicate the facts I can't read Harry Potter cause they're worshipping false gods and that And Dumbledore's a poofter and that's bad cause it's not good Morality is written there in simple white and black I feel sorry for you heathens, got to think about all that Good is good and evil's bad and goats are good and pigs are crap You'll find which one is which in the good book Cause it's good and it's a book and it's a book yeah. I had a cat, she gave birth to a litter The kittens were adorable and they made my family laugh But as they grew they started misbehaving so I drown the little fuckers in the bath When the creatures in your care start being menaces The answers can be found right there in Genesis Chapter 6, verse 5 to 7 Yeehaw! Swing your partner by the hand Have a baby if you can But if the voices in your head say to sacrifice your kid To satiate your loving gods Fetish for dead baby blood It's simple faith the book demands So raise that knife up in your hands before the good book made us good, there was no good way to know If a thing was good or not that good or kind of touch and go So God decided he'd give right an allegoric prose ago And so he wrote a book and it was generally well received The telegraph said this God is reminiscent of the Norse the time said kind of turgid, but I like the bit with horses. The mail said lots of massacres, a violent tour de force. If you only read one book this year, then this one is a book, and it is good, and it's a book. Yeehaw! Swing your daughter by the hand, but if she gets raped by a man and refuses then to marry him, stone her to death. Just close your eyes and block your ears To the accumulated knowledge of the last 2,000 years Then morally guess what, you're off the hook And thank Christ you only have to read one book Just because the book's contents were written generations hence By hairy desert-dwelling gents Squatting in their dusty tents Just because what heaven said was said before they'd leavened bread just cause Jesus couldn't read Doesn't mean that we should need We're manipulating human genes To alleviate pain or fight disease When deciding whether it's wrong or right To help the die and let go of life Or to stop a pregnancy When it's just a tiny blast assist There's no reason why we should take a look At any other book But the good book Cause it's good and it's a book And it's a book And it's quite good Oh, Whoa. <laughs> that's fine. a song about the music industry trying to get famous and having no debt. <laughs> uh, 
He doesn't have a problem with drugs. He just doesn't do them. He's fine that his mates have tattoos, but he reckons they'll rue them. He likes going to pubs, but he hates it when the music's too loud. He tends not to go to rock concerts because he can't stand the crowd. But all he's ever wanted to be is a rock star on Rage or MTV. But he knows that it's not fucking likely he just turned 30 He knows that he will always be A rock and roll nerd He'll keep writing songs the world will never hear And though they won't be heard He'll just keep writing Oh yeah But you see the problem is He always dreamt of being a star But he learned piano instead of guitar which in the 90s didn't get you very far So while the other kids were learning Stairway He was the piano to their forte But he was convinced one day he'd rock their fucking asses And be an icon for the disenfranchised masses And grow his hair long and rebel against the state but just for now that I'd have to wait Cause he's running late for his morning clashes And he will always be a rock and roll nerd He'll keep playing gigs that no one knows about And though it sounds absurd, he'll just keep playing Oh yeah, but you see the problem is There's not much depth in what he's singing He's a victim of his upper middle class upbringing. So he can't write about the hood or bling bling. So he sits and imagines his girlfriend is dead to try and evoke some angst in his middle class head. But the bitch is always fine at half past nine when he go to bed. And he's not spent a single night in prison He has no issues with nutrition He has no drinking problem and no drug addiction Unless you count the drugs they put in chicken And marijuana always tends to make him cough He doesn't look good with his t-shirt off But when he tries to act tough You can tell he's tricking now while his mates will go out late a pop and pills and a have and fun He goes home and showers and gets a good eight hours He gets his thrills from his morning run While his mates will go on dates a Taking speed and drinking cans of Jim Beam He stays home and cooks, curls up with a book With a girl he's had since he was 17 Because he's never really been part of the scene While the other kids like Gunners, he like Queen He's more into Beatles than the Stones He's more of Stevie Wonder than Ramon and he's never owned a panel van He never shot a Pantera fan He doesn't know the difference between metal and trash He couldn't tell you nothing about Axel and Slash He likes Van Falls and the Jackson 5 He knows all the words to stand alive And though he wants to be a grungy and cool He spent 11 years at a private school So it don't matter how he tries He cannot hide behind his rock and roll lies Cause he'd either got it or you don't Yeah, he'll either rock it or you won't he knows that his music lacks depth, but it just can't be helped. He has nothing interesting to say, so he writes about himself. <laughs> But he doesn't want to seem self-obsessed So he writes in third person <laughs> In an attempt to seem more rock and roll But he suspects it's not working <laughs> And deep in his heart he knows he Will never be Bono or Bowie And even if he was quite pretty With small pants like Kylie he knows that he will always be a rock and roll man. He'll be riding.
sing songs the world don't care about And though it sounds absurd, it'll just keep right down For that matter, if you're quite a religious, if you're a religious person, um, might want to pop out for about five minutes. <laughs> uh, this is a song about um, anal sex and God. <laughs> it's uh, it's called Ten Foot Cock and a Few Hundred Virgins. <laughs> So you're gonna live in paradise With a ten-foot cock and a few hundred virgins So you're gonna live in paradise With a ten-foot cock and a few hundred virgins So you're gonna sacrifice your life For a ride on a UFO And when the Lord comes down in his shimmering chariot of salvation you're gonna be the first to know oh. And so if God was there from the very beginning He invented men and women Then he also invented wanking Then he said wanking was sinning So now if I'm feeling randy I'm not allowed to hand shandy But having sex with my family That is just fucking great It's all there in Ezekiel 8 just before he opens up his big pearly gate And says that it's a sin to take it up to date Even if it's great, even with your cowboy mate So you're gonna live in paradise With a ten foot cock and a few hundred virgins So you're gonna sacrifice your life For a shot at the greener grass And when the Lord comes down with his shiny rod of judgment He's gonna kick my heathen ass oh. So if you cover the bodies of your women Everybody is grinning because black is so slim And though it's not great for swimming But it gives you an erection with the increased sexual tension What with the UV protection that is second to none You'll find it all in the Koran just next to the bit that justifies guns And says that it's a sin to take it up the bum Even if it's fun, even with permission from your mum So you're gonna live in paradise With a temple cock and a few hundred virgins So you're gonna sacrifice your life For a shot at eternity And when the Lord comes down and I Haven't done my penance gonna disembowel me oh you say that if I stumbled on a watch I'd assume it had a watchmaker that a muffin presupposes a baker so he must agree sooner or later that this proves there's a creator so if I put my foot in a stinker you'd assume the existence of a sphincter thus you don't need to be a great thinker to conclude that God's a bum which negates the words of Genesis 1 Which make him out to be so much fun Until Adam succumbed to temptation And then his only son got nailed to a gum Or the Middle Eastern equivalent Which suggests that God's omniscience is nullified by his ambivalence Unless it turns out that he's impotent And if God can't get a boner I guess that explains the plethora A few directions in his honour Cos we all know a steeple's just a subconscious compensatory manifestation of a huge stiff penis And still he tells us that it's heinous to stick a penis up your anus, even if you're famous, even if you're good at tennis. So you're gonna live in paradise. The devil can't be one to so you're gonna sacrifice your life for a ride on a UFO. And when the Lord comes down with his big, stiff, slippery rod of judgment, oh, I'm gonna. 
gonna be the first to go He's gonna send me down below He's gonna whip me like a hoe Do you really think so? I'm gonna be the first to go Well, I wake up in the morning at 11.47 And I can't believe I have to face the horror of another fucking day <laughs> And the magnificent magnitude of my morning erection Merely mocks me like the sun in its optimistic greeting of the day Managing to manifest a modicum of motivation I meander to the kitchen, make a mission out of mixing Nescafe But the milk is going off and coffee by itself is bitter And there's ants all through the sugar and the supermarket smiles are fucking away My life is pretty sad But I know that I should be glad I could be a starving Ethiop or a policeman in Baghdad Policeman in Baghdad Dad. At 11.53 I instigate the day's ablutions In the hope my constitution can be altered by some action on the bowl But the total non-existence of colonic animation Seems to me the perfect metaphor for the utter constipation of my soul By 11.59 I have decided that my life would be immediately improved By a carefully written list of short-term goals but by 12.05 my list consists of one dot, put some pants on, two dot, go to the shop, buy some prunes and Panadol. <laughs> my life is pretty shit, but I know I shouldn't winch about it. I could be a Palestinian driving buses on the Gaza Strip. Yeah, how bad can I be? Some people have it worse than me. I could be an Ipswich prostitute or Gary Glitter's family. I have no right to cry, so people have it worse than I I could be a thalid of my kid with something in my eye Something in my eye, my eye At 12 I realize I'm feeling so dejected That I totally neglected the beginning of the Jerry Springer show So I settle on the sofa, try to focus an iota of my motor neurons On the brilliant insights for which Jerry is known and although on any other day a show entitled Midgets, Midgets, Midgets would excite me like a virgin at a year 11 ball. Today those little jelly wrestling fellas fail to free me of my misery. Instead they simply serve to make me feel three foot tall. But how bad can it be? So people have it worse than me. I could be a junior lifesaver on a band or at Shea Beach. Or a woman in Afghanistan Or a Jew in the Ku Klux Klan Or the architect of the World Trade Center Or a bobcat driver in Bamaran I could have my identity mistaken As a bomber in an underground station I could be a peace-loving speechwriter In George W's administration Yeah, you know that I don't have the right To be unhappy with my life I could be Hitler's mother Or Shane Warne's wife yeah, you know that I shouldn't be bitching I could be in the worst position I could be a three-nippled naturopath Then the days of the Spanish in the Spanish Inquisition You know I have no right, no right to cry So people have it much, much worse than I I could have a serious nut allergy And be shipwrecked on an island with a crate of Snickers bars A jar of Nutella and a fresh baked pecan pie 